Well, it looks like this question is asking us to compare two positive ratios, A to B versus C to D, and they're asking which of those ratios is bigger. Another way to ask that is, does the distance between zero and D fit inside the distance between zero and C more times than the distance between zero and B fits inside the distance between zero and A? Another option, if we want to rephrase this question, is to multiply both sides of the inequality by B and by D, and we're allowed to do that because we're told that A, B, C, and D are all positive. So if we go ahead and do that, we could rephrase the question to, is AD less than BC? Now, if you did do that, you might be tempted to start with statement two because it is talking about AD versus BC, in fact, it's telling us that if you take the ratio of AD to BC and you square it, you get smaller. That's, that's kind of how I interpret statement two. So again, you, you take AD over BC. When you square it, you become smaller. It brings you closer to zero. Now, what does that tell me about AD versus BC? What kind of positive number gets smaller, closer to zero, when you square it? That would be really any positive fraction. Any number in the range between zero and one would go closer to zero if you square it. But if AD over BC is in that range between zero and one, that tells me that the numerator is smaller than a denominator. In other words, AD is smaller than BC, and that was the question, right? We rephrased the question as, is AD less than BC? And statement two gives us a definitive yes. So let's go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that statement two is not sufficient on its own. So A, C, E are all gone. We're down to B and D. Let's evaluate statement one right after the intro. So what can we infer from statement one? If we know that a ratio is positive, that means that the top and the bottom of the ratio are on the same side of zero. So either C minus A and D minus B are both positive, or C minus A and D minus B are both negative. Another way to look at that, either C is to the right of A and D is to the right of B, or vice versa. C is to the left of A and D is to the left of B but we wanted to know which ratio is greater, A over B or C over D. So looking at the possibilities with statement one and maybe drawing some number lines, I really don't see how we could possibly tell which of those ratios is greater. There's just way too many possibilities here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick B and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.